What's up gang, it's Ryan here from Ruck.Beer and today we are taking a look at a brand new product coming out from GoRuck and that is their sand jerry cans. Now, if you've ever gone to a GoRuck event, you are familiar with an object like this. Uh, this water can is quite possibly one of the things I hate the most uh, at GoRuck events. When full, it is a beast of burden as you drink the water, it just begins to move more and more and I don't know, sometimes I'd rather just be dehydrated than carry this. Well, Goruk took a fairly miserable product and uh, turned it into something even more miserable because when it's full of sand, you can't even drink it. So this instrument of pure pain and destruction uh, is something that Goruk has had in development for quite a while. If you pay attention to Goruk scars on Instagram, you've seen them using these sand jerry cans in their training uh, easily for a year now. So it's exciting to finally see these products out in real life. What I have here today is a 55 pound and a 45 pound variation. We're going to take a look at them while they're empty. We'll take them outside, fill them up, uh, we'll walk around the block with them or something to give them a little bit of test and then come back in and talk about them some more. But some of the things that you'll notice about these jerry cans is uh, first off, as I said, they come in two sizes, 55 pounds and 45 pounds. Now, according to GoRuck, and we'll test this out in just a minute, the 45 pound jerry can should fit in both the um, the t both of the ruckers, the the rucker 4.0s, uh, it should be when full should be able to sit in your bag uh, if you want to use it as extra weight. Uh, the 55 pound will not fit, but that's just a fun little fact. Um, when we look at the construction, uh, obviously we've got the tiger stripe Kadura material that is the base of the jerry can, but we've also got this ballistic nylon at the at the bottom, as well as on the bottom and sides of the um, jerry can. Now, this is going to help it uh, maintain its shape and rigidity, and also add a little bit of durability, because this is the type of product that, as you're carrying, you're going to be setting down on concrete over and over again and it's just gonna slide and grind. And so to have that uh, added bit of ballistic nylon should certainly help with durability. Uh, the uh, handles, just like you would expect from any quality GORUCK product, the handles are amazing. Um, we reviewed the GORUCK sand kettlebells, uh, which we'll link to in the top of this video. Uh, the feel of these handles is very similar. Uh, there's a nice, um, almost rubbery feel to it. Not, not the material, but like the grip. There's a little bit of flex and give to it. It's not like I just have this thin piece of webbing, but it's a, it's a handle that actually has really good grip to it. So I imagine once we get the sand in there, it's going to feel really good in the hand. Now, as we get this handle out of the way, we're going to take a look at where we will be inserting the sand. So we've got this uh, YKK zipper here. We're going to open it up. And here we see Gorux. Uh, they've got what they call a throat funnel. So this kind of pulls out. And as you see, there's this double layer of Velcro. Very similar to what you would see on a Goruck sandbag, which, uh, hey, link up there. We've got reviews of that as well. When it comes to their sand products, no matter what it is, I'm always impressed with how difficult it is to open the Velcro. So the Velcro is there. It's going to help keep that sand in place. And what I don't believe I... Well, let's see. Oh, yes. So within... Look at that. Within the interior of the sand jerry can we have this uh, nylon material now this is going to actually be where the sand is trapped and kept within the jerry can 
what this means is just you have that extra layer uh, between the sand and the material and getting out. Obviously you want all the sand to stay in there so this is designed to do that. But what we see here is that the sand, they actually have these multiple channels for the sand to go down into. So there's actually three different channels and what this is going to do is as you fill the sand up, instead of the sand kind of all going to one side or the other or being unevenly distributed, the fact that there are three channels for the sand to go in, it should distribute more evenly uh, and have much more uniform um, filling with the sand. So that's the theory. And now that we've taken a little look at it, we're going to take it outside, put some sand, and uh, let's go have a little fun with them. All right, so time to fill up the sand jerry can. Got our 50 pounds of sand here, which should be more than enough. We'll put it on the scale, see where we are. Ooh, coming up light. If you can kind of see down in there, we've got the one, two, three chambers. So we've got a little space on this one over here. Let's see if we can't get some sand down in there. All right, so we've got the 45 pound Go Ruck Jerry Can Sand Edition here. Solid, you can kind of feel those three compartments right there with the sand all in them. A little bit of give uh, with that handle. I could certainly see this being used for things like kettlebell swings. Yep, that'd be great. Ugh overhead presses also tons of fun but at the end of the day I think it's just a really annoying thing to carry around with you let's go inside and talk about it all right so the sand jerry can as a first look this thing is a sharp piece of gear uh, I really like the three chamber system that uh, Goruk has in here to make sure that the sand gets evenly distributed. Uh, as you noticed when I was filling it with sand, the middle chamber fills up really quick. From there you have to get kind of accurate with your sand to make sure that it's getting into the left and to the right chambers. Uh, but once you kind of figure that out, um, it's good to go. Uh, there was 
You can maybe fudge it a little bit. This 45 pounder, you might be able to sneak up to 50 pounds if you want to. Uh, I did have to get a little rough uh, on the top to kind of mat that sand down in order to be able to fully enclose the zipper. The zipper does have a nice little pocket that it sneaks up into there, which we didn't showcase uh, earlier, but uh, that's a nice little feature there. Um, feels good. The grip is good on the handle, kettlebell swings, presses, lots of fun things that you can do with it. Um, if you're looking to expand your home gym equipment, if you're looking to add some stuff to do with your ruck club, certainly the San Jerry Can is uh, a contender. Um, personally, this would be a little lower on my totem pole of things that I would want to get to build out my, my home gym uh, and my ruck training. I would probably opt for a sand kettlebell, which we've got review videos of. Definitely sand bags, um, simple sandbags, which we've got reviews of, um, is a great way to get affordable sandbags uh, into your training. Um, and the Sand Med Ball, which we just uh, released a review of, that's another amazing piece of equipment. So with all these great sand gear to work with, this would probably be something that I'd, I'd eventually get, but this would not be one of the first pieces that I would get. Um, I think you're a little more limited in your case use with the jerry can than with things like the sand med ball, the kettlebell, and the traditional sandbag. But if, if you've got all those, or if you're looking for something very specific that you can do with the sand kettlebell, then uh, it's obviously a great piece of gear that will uh, treat you well. Final thing that I wanted to do was get out my 20 liter Rucker 4.0. This is the uh, Armor and Coyote Brown that we just did a review on. Um, link up there. Uh, Goruck says that the 45 pound sand. Oh, good grief. Uh, jerry can will fit in here. So we're going to give this a try. That is, that is a tight squeeze down there, but she is. Whew, look at that. I'm not saying it's the quickest and easiest thing to throw in your ruck. saying <laughs> the go ruck ain't lying Whew. after a little bit of effort the 45 pound uh, sand jerry can does indeed fit in the 20 liter rucker 4.0 uh, if you have the 25 i'm thinking that you might have had an easier time getting it in there but um could be fun throw that in there take it and uh, surprise your ruck club friends when you're like oh hey I brought this for us to play with uh, easy to transport so if you got any questions about the go ruck sand jerry can pop them down in the comments below we will do our best to answer all of them and uh, if you pick one up let us know what you think See you later.